okay now uh, we shall check how is the model as a whole that means how is this error correction model statistically uh, how is it okay one thing first I start with the R square R square is 47.54 percent so that is low that is not high so that is low that is the problem of this model that the data is not nicely fitted so this model has this problem and another problem that C3 which is a GDP and C4 which is investment both the independent variable are not significant to explain the dependent variable which is the literacy so that is also a bad sign of this model that two variable are insignificant right so but the good sign is if statistics is significant you can see the probability value is less than 5% meaning that independent variables jointly can influence the dependent variable which is called literacy and here what is happening you see C2, C3, C4 they are not significant uh, individually individually they are not significant but jointly they are significant why because the F statistics is significant actually what is the F statistics F statistics actually talking about joint significancy of the independent variables on dependent variable and when the p-value is less than 5% then we say that independent variables jointly can influence the dependent variable and that is desirable and that that should 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 have for a good regression model so uh, so so we are happy about the F statistics okay then we talk about residual whether the residual of this model right whether uh, whether it has any arch effect and so on okay first I check one by one I go to view I go to residual di diagnostic then first I choose the serial correlation whether whether the residual of this model has serial correlation or not that we check first okay suppose I choose lag 2 okay so this one is the Bruce Godfrey test LM test and observed R square and corresponding P value what is the P value 18.15 percent meaning that more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no serial correlation which we cannot reject so that is desirable and that that is a good sign of this model that there is no serial correlation so we are happy about it okay then uh, I check again I check suppose this time I check the heteroscedasticity test right this one I check okay here are many tests suppose I choose the arch effect whether this model has any arch effect or not right 
uh, that we can check uh, whether there is a arch effect so suppose I take number of lakhs to 2 lakhs I choose right so then uh, then I run the model it is the arch model observed R square and the p-value 94.05 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no arch effect and we cannot reject it and that is a good sign for this model we are happy about it then I talk about uh, other test of residual which is a test of normality histogram right I want to check this one okay Jarkabera statistics and corresponding p-value how much is the p-value less than 5 percent meaning that we can reject null hypothesis because the p-value is less than 5 percent and what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is the residuals are normally distributed which is desirable and what is alternative hypothesis residuals are not normally distributed so here we can reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept alternative hypothesis that is residuals are not normally distributed so that that is a bad sign for this model that residuals are not normal so that is a bad sign but still it is manageable because even the residuals are not normal still we can we still uh, we can accept the model right still we can accept the model no normally yes normally yes uh, actually uh, there are many 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 uh, uh, many people are supporting the statement many many econometrician are supporting supporting the statement that although the residuals are not normal still it is manageable 